Hello everybody, here's Ellie. We're gonna do a walk around of the outside and then the inside. So uh, starting at the outside here, um, this is the entrance obviously. These, these vehicles only have one door, interestingly. Uh, this one has been uh, rebuilt to be, uh, you know, very uh, flush because sometimes these coaches have a tendency to, so, to sort of squash, uh, but this one uh, has not, so it is flush. Um, I put in uh, electronic central locking, so it's a remote locking like a modern car. And uh, behind this um, uh, access door, I guess I can pull it off, it's, it's not hard to pull off. You can see here is an on-demand hot water heater. And also, below this, I've installed a um, uh, thermostatic valve. So when you turn on the hot water in this vehicle, the water is always exactly 113 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit, um, which makes for a very delightful shower. I actually like showering in the car better than I like showering at home because it's always perfect every time. So I'm going to talk you around the exterior features of the vehicle. Um, all the wheels are new, all the tires are new. Um, uh, well, within the, uh, the last couple of years, this is a Ragusa step. It's an aftermarket um, step that was put on. It's very nice, it's aluminum. One thing that's unique about this vehicle are these um, uh, side strips, which are not chrome. They look like chrome, I know, but they are actually polished stainless steel. So they are basically indestructible, and I have not seen them on any other uh, vehicle of this type. So here you can see I, I uh, added a luxury liner uh, logo. These uh, vents are actually extremely functional, uh, unlike on so many other vehicles. Um, because of the way the engine is located between the two front wheels, there's sort of a vertical stop about here. Um, uh, next to this line, and as a result, the incoming air has nowhere to go in the front. And these vents vent a lot of hot air and keep the engine cool. So we're coming around the front here. Um, this vehicle has had various cosmetic improvements, uh, one of which is the bumper covers, which I think are really make it look smart. There's also the license plate holder, of course. These were all uh, painted as, at the same time as the vehicle. Uh, again, a, a many, many thousand dollar uh, paint job. Um, and it just looks really, really smart. Uh, I've adjusted the, um, the, the, the um, windshield wipers on the original version kind of look wonky. And so I've adjusted these to be, uh, you know, parallel to the ground. This is, uh, an, uh, this is something I added a, um, um, polished aluminum, solid aluminum GMC emblem. I think it's uh, actually classier than the GMC over the front. Um, every light on the vehicle, except for the headlights, which are period correct, and these lights at the front uh, are LEDs. That also includes the interior lights of the vehicle. So it's not just uh, the exterior lights. And that gives a very, a very clean look. So here we can see the side. Um, it's outfitted with a hidden uh, CB antenna, which is here. And if you step back a little bit, you can see the um, FM antenna is a very small antenna, uh, which is very efficient. It can also be, uh, it facilitates the covering of the vehicle um, for, for um, rain and, and protection during the winter. So this is the, uh, the stand I use uh, uh, for car shows and so forth. It explains all the features of the vehicle and the many, many uh, improvements that have been done. So there's not too much to see on this side, so we'll go fairly quickly. This is um, a furnace. Uh, I put in a 20,000 BTU gas furnace. This vehicle has three uh, heat sources uh, and two air conditioning sources. So it has the, the gas furnace, uh, an electric heater, and a heat pump. And uh, they are uh, you know, increasingly on, in heat, uh, sorry, in height of the vehicle. So the gas furnace is lowest. Um, the electric furnace is sort of in the middle, and the heat pump, you can see up there, is the air conditioner as well. This is the, uh, the kitchen vent, which is kind of cool. I'll show you inside. It's, it's unique to this vehicle, um, but that's where it, it uh, exits. I'm not going to open this cabinet, but this is where you have the um, city water connection, as well as the external uh, electrical connection, as well as the external electrical input. 
Uh, again, new, new tires, these have been sort of slicked, so they look uh, really black right now. And back here is the, uh, the generator. Honestly, I'm not gonna open the generator, but the generator is in completely perfect working order. Doesn't leak oil, turns on every single time. And next to it, to the right, to the right where these, the, these fins are, there's a huge battery. It's a lead acid battery, it's about this big. It is, um, yeah, about two and a half, three feet wide and it weighs 120 pounds. And so that provides uh, all your boondocking electricity and you can do pretty much anything with it. Coming around to the back, uh, the back of this vehicle is, I think, particularly uh, classic and elegant. Um, so we have both the bumper covers that are color keyed, as well as this Continental tire cover. All GMCs have this tire mount. Uh, many of them have a fiberglass cover over the whole wheel that just says GMC. But this one has the original um, hubcap, which I refinished, uh, as well as a color keyed uh, uh, tire cover. So many people have commented that this is one of the most uh, classic and elegant um, ways to deal with the, the rear end of the GMC. To the right there um, on the bottom, you can see there's a stainless steel exhaust. Uh, there's a single exhaust pipe. It's very large, but there's a single exhaust pipe uh, for the 455 engine. So coming around the corner again, you know, LED lights here. Um, on this side, we have the, um, the propane tank. I'm not actually sure about the size. I think it's a 20 gallon propane tank, but the propane lasts absolutely forever. I, I fill it once a year at most, and I don't even need to fill it completely. And behind that is the, the water tank. So that gives you uh, an idea. Um, this particular coach has, um, these sort of, you know, the original had no covers between the wheels uh, that cover up the, uh, the suspension system. This has an electro level system, so a more advanced system. And you'll see once we get inside that many of the systems uh, of the vehicle have been updated from the 1974 versions of the system. So this is a 1974 uh, base vehicle, but again, it was completely rebuilt in 1996 and they sort of picked and chose uh, what they put in. 